a little help from you. You know who demonesses are? Uh, we are demons of... <laughs> yes, yes, I get it. Right. Uh-huh. I'm not reading what, her, what she's saying. into it. It's just strength, dexterity, and intelligence. I don't need any constitution because, well, I don't actually do any fighting. <laughs> These guys have the constitution, not me. Demon bends over some papers, working with enthusiasm. Sharp, clawed finger, he draws flaming runes on a sheet of parchment. It bursts into flames and becomes useless. Him. Great Magar, who's there? Hmm. Who dares prevent me from the creation of roads? It's here. You should know that the destinies of worlds are decided. What is this important work that you can't stop? Uh, you're knocking on my door and you don't even know where you've come? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Esmeray, the Rhodes Architect. And the one... one of the best, by the way. If you don't know what that means, I can explain to you. Architects are highly respected demon mages who are capable of creating roads, also called fire bridges. Passages to other worlds. Each of these passages is unique and requires highly customized, delicate magic to achieve. Now do you see how important and laborious this work is? So go away and don't disturb me. Can I replenish my supplies? Sell nothing, I buy nothing, and I don't give alms. You could read Runic Kaba, you would... I had a special ruining above the entrance. Busy, don't disturb me. Oh, and now I don't have a choice. Darn it, I ran out of conversation options. I have come from Ashara, now don't get angry. Sent by the beautiful Ashara? Does that gorgeous Ashara want from a miserable architect? All of her attempts to allure you have been unsuccessful, and she's started to doubt her charms. It seems she's suffering quite badly. Suffering? That's good! Perfect! See, I'm in love with her madly, but she has so many admirers, how can I compete with them? To put down my intense... yes. Ah. Uh -uh. Makes the back of your neck itch. Well, that's a problem. Uh, maybe blah 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 demon words. Uh huh. Itch is a side effect. Every potion has its side effects. You should see what that healing potion will do to you in 20 years. <laughs> No, I have no use for the fire of love. Work is work. Nobody will do it if I don't, so tell her I'll continue to drink the protective potion and get rid of all feelings and desires. Okay. He's very busy now. He doesn't want to talk to me. Is this like a big roundabout fetch quest? Maybe it won't result in me fighting. 
Actually, it does suppress the Roman Architect's anger, so... If I'm going to go to the trader and get him to change the recipe so he's no longer suppressing the guy's urges, then he'll be angry when I visit again and uh, probably try to kill me. I don't know. Hey, lady. There you go. Outrageous. I can't sleep at all. Night. Eat my heart out! Well, he's drinking a potion. Well, fear of gods into him, huh? That's something all you demons should have, I think. Find this Lu Cleason and give him this vial. Send Asmore. Send it to Asmore instead of the other potion. Uh, just... gross. We're not going to have one of these, are we? Thank you. You know, you really shouldn't be dragging your whip around. It's not good for the material. Come on. Mm. It wouldn't be so bad if these things didn't take so long to move around. But they do. Down to the castle. To the demonesses. Demonus. <laughs> demonesses. She was rather self obsessed. I suppose that it is, but you're saying the demonesses like more than one, and then you're referring to her in the singular form. So I'm confused. Do you have imps for sale here? You do not, but you do have a re rage predator. It takes five points of rage and turns it into mana. That's pretty cool. Also, there's polymorph. Oh, scuffer imps. Also a bunch of dwarves for some reason. There, hang out with your friends. And they're tougher and stronger. Four through seven. This is also tempting. I'm gonna take it. Chests and rooms are in my hands. What do you want from me? You mustn't delay my work. I need the key which will open the dragon's lap. If you're the key keeper, you must know what I'm talking about. Obey only my lady. No one can ask me. It's useless to threaten me. You can't take a single key from me, neither by deceit nor by force. And this is the power of the key keeper. Okie dokie. Give me one of those keys. If you touch any of these keys, I will die. If you take it, then you will take my place. You will be serving Our Lady for thousands of years protecting her keys. The curse of the keykeeper has made me who I am. Must be one of Al's officers. Become a slave to the keys? 
I don't think so. No, probably not. This would be a much faster mana regeneration. But it would lower my rage. No, no, no. Let's talk to her. Nice to meet you! Uh-huh. I'm here by my own free will. Uh-huh. Right. is not very heavy. I got it ages ago. It's probably extremely light by now. Worn thin. Or it just didn't weigh a lot in the first place. I'm sure you will. This is just awkward. I think she's also a potential, uh wife, actually. What does she do? I don't remember. I think she... She increased demon morale? Let's, uh, actually look at this. Find it for me, Google search. Hmm. Uh, in the meantime, I'm looking for a portal key. Have you heard anything about it? Right place. I know everything about the keys. I can find the key to any home. Even such an inaccessible heart as yours. Right. Apparently all it takes is a few words and my head is spinning, so I don't see how it's so inaccessible. I know about the Dwarven portal keys as well. One of them hangs from the neck of my key keeper. There's one other key. Val has it. But his key was clo- And by his key was closed that portal, which was created in your world long before the fire bridge. In, in exchange for your key. In exchange for this needless thing? Nothing. But I will not give it to you for free. So prove that you are stronger. Prove to me that you are worthy of being called a man in your world. Oh dear. Uh-huh. Defeat you in combat. Okay. Interesting. You're, when you get rid of a wife, they take uh, the children, the equipment in their slot, so take that off of her first, and uh, one-fifth of your gold, which I can understand. Uh, anyway, siege! <laughs> this doesn't look that bad. The other one was worse. Of course, he was the big boss, I guess, and she's not. She's the keeper of the keys, I guess.
No, my sheep! Run, sheep! Run for your lives! They're not fire resistant anymore either, I don't think. That was a pretty good hit. Huh? 